How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about my Samsung Galaxy S7. Specifically we're going to be talking about factory resetting your device. Now, there's a couple things you're going to need to know about it and it's just kind of tricky so we're going to explain it. So with Android Lollipop and above, Marshmallow, basically 5.1 and above, we have a feature called factory reset protection that kind of screws with um, resetting this the old fashioned way. So we're going to go ahead and go into settings. And if you ever need to factory reset your phone, the best way to do it is in here. So you go to backup and reset, factory reset right here, factory data reset. You go ahead and reset it right there. You hit reset. It's going to ask for your password or your thumbprint, and then you'll go ahead and it'll reset the device. Okay. That's automatic. That's the easy way. So I'm going to show you the harder way and then also talk about how this factory reset protection could affect resetting your device the harder way or I would say maybe the old fashioned way. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and power off the device. Go ahead and do that. And once it powers off, what you're going to do is you're going to hold some buttons on your device to do this. So to do this, you're going to hold your volume up, your home button, and then power. So home button, volume up, and then we're going to hold power and we're going to let it boot and it sees see it says recovery up there on the top you can let go of power but keep holding the other two and then it actually says installing system update which it's actually not doing it's not doing this at all it just says it it's part of the setting up recovery process which is just kind of interesting um, so if you reset your device that has a password lock on it in this method which says no commands so now there you go so if you use stock android recovery which is what we're in right here to do this reset it's going to require you to log back into the phone with the last password that was signed in on the Google account that was signed in on the phone when you reset it so this is my phone if I reset it I can just log in with my Google password and I'm back but if you reset it and you don't have that or you forgot it or whatever the reason is you're gonna be locked out of your phone by resetting it with this method always use the method when you're booted into the device that's way better so that's a problem. Now for me, I actually want to test on how hard it'll be to bypass factory set protection on this device. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. So we're going to go ahead and wipe data factory reset and then hit yes. And this is going to erase all your uh, user data, pictures possibly if they're on your internal SD card, um, cache, everything is going to be completely redone. All right, so we're all done. We can go ahead and reboot the system. And what's going to happen is it'll boot back up. It'll take a little longer to boot on this first boot up because of the fact that uh, it has to rebuild all the files and stuff. See, now this is interesting. It says verifying DM verify hash tree. So it's checking some security things when it's doing this. So this is going to be like a fresh boot up and I'll have to go through all my install processes. But because I had a password on this, this should trip factory reset protection and lock me out unless I have that Google account. Let me just show you it boot up and show you that. All right, here we go. There is the welcome screen and we are completely reset. So let me just show you factory reset protection. I'll just show you the screen it's gonna get you to. Um, I don't have a SIM card in right now so it's gonna ask me to basically do this through my Wi-Fi. So I'll go ahead and connect and just show you, um, just show you what I mean about this. All right, so I'm connecting. Um, Everything looks good. It's checking for software updates right now. And Wi-Fi is connected. And then the next screen should be checking my info. And this is to check to see if I need to put in a previous account. So right here. This device was reset to continue sign in with Google account that was previously synced to this device. So I know mine, so I'm going to put it in. But just so you guys know, if you reset that way, you're going to have to have that email address and password. All those things are going to need to be totally functioning for you and set up so if you don't have them it's going to be an issue but that is how you factor reset your device either through powering down and going into stock recovery or through the menus and the menus is the preferred method if you have that method that is the way i would use it if you're going to sell your device use that method because then it will not trigger factory reset protection anyway just a heads up for you guys hope you enjoyed the video here on the galaxy s7 and if you're interested in seeing how to factory, uh, factory reset protection bypass this, I'm hoping to actually show a video on that soon. We'll see how that goes. If I can find a method, I will. If I can't, I won't. It's one of them deals. But uh, stay tuned for more videos on this device, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.